All right, Dr. Paul here. We're going to stretch out the lower part of the body uh, now. And it's, this is assuming that I just finished a run for about five minutes. Uh, I've got a little sweat going. And I usually like to start right here on my knees. And I'll turn sideways. I like to sit on my heels, get some quad stretching going on here. I don't necessarily need to lean back, but at least now I'm putting a strain on this. I'll keep sitting on one heel, bring the other leg forward, and come down. So I'm stretching here, as well as this opposite hamstring. And we'll switch that up. Same thing over here. Good. Then all I'll do is I'll bring one leg forward, tuck it in like this. You can see my rear leg straight back. So what am I doing here? I'm kind of lengthening my hip flexor here, and then the leg that's tucked I'm stretching out that glute, my butt. Then we switch it up to the other side. So I'm extending this hip flexor and stretching out my butt on the right side here. Kind of give it a little twist like this to get the different angles on it. Good. Real simple. Bring the legs in. I'm not the most flexible guy. The guys that really are, get their knees to the floor at this point, I'm working on it. <laughs> and then some, some more flexibility. We all do this before training. We're going out with the legs, moving the hips, the knees, and then we'll bring it in. Again, moving the hips, moving the knees. And then I usually like to finish off with something a little bit dynamic. I like to get it up here like this. I like to touch my toe, grab, I basically grab onto my toes from here and go into a deep squat and hang onto my toes and deep squat, bring it in a little bit closer, the squat and straight up and the squat, leaning back and straight up. All right, now I'm ready to train.